Hey DB Maxers, welcome to Castle Coombe. This is your video race brief for the Castle Coombe Chile Duathlon, which is going to be held on Sunday, the 11th of April. So this Sunday, looking forward to you all turning up. First thing for you all doing the duathlon, car parking. We are not, and I repeat, are not parking at you guys in the main paddock. Due to the current COVID situation, we are parking people in different areas. So please follow the signs to the West Way entrance, which you can see, there's a car going past, in the distance just over there. You're gonna park up and then behind this bank here. Please follow directions from the parking attendant. Um, they will put you in place and park in a socially distant, man socially distant manner. You're then gonna follow the race HQ and to the start signs, and they will actually bring you down along the side here by the Avon Bridge, and you're gonna walk down here. So please, as you're coming down, make sure you do keep away from others. And just to the left now, you can see the red DB Max gazebo, which is already up. This is where you are gonna collect your bike number and your time and chip from. When you're in this area, you must have a face covering on at all times. So please, while you're there, have your face covering on and please make sure you remain two meters distance from all other people. This area where you can see some cars now, you'll be able to pop your bike on some uh, racking and you can pop your race numbers on before you head into transition. When you're going into transition, again, you must have your face covering on at all times. So you're gonna come through this gate, which on the day will, of course, be open. I'll just pop over it quickly and you'll head into the pit lane. Now this bit is just where you go in and check your bike. It will be rack anywhere. Uh, there'll be certain racks for you, but you'll be able to rack anywhere on that. So if you want to give yourself more room, you've got the opportunity to do so. Okay, just before your race, you need to make sure you head back out through the gates, follow the signs and round the corner of the Strawford Centre to the start. If we just take this little shortcut, the start will be level with this gravel area here. You'll form in groups of six. While you're queuing for the start, please make sure you have your face covering on and do as you're instructed by the race starter. You'll be called forward. Your time starts when you cross the timing mat and you'll head off and down into the corner and do your one perimeter lap <coughs> of the track. At the end of your lap, you will come round onto the circuit, which is over in the distance there behind the tower and run down the pit lane and come into transition. Uh, you come through, run in, you'll get to your bike. Please make sure you do not touch your bike until your helmet is on and securely fastened. You will then go out the far end of the pit lane. You can see just down there where there will be a mount dismount line, okay? Please do not get on before that line, get on after it and follow the marshal's instructions and head out to do your five laps on the bike. The actual time in transition is neutralized. So you will have five minutes to complete your transition from entering run-in around about here to get in to bike out, which will be down the very bottom of the pit lane. So it's five laps of the track on your bike. You can't draft. Please keep a distance of at least seven metres on Castlecombe Racetrack to anyone else. It's 14 metres wide at all times. Uh, so there's plenty of room for you. Um, so that's it on drafting. Please ride with care. Don't get close to others. Loads of room, please, guys. On your last lap, you will come back down on the other side of the pit wall here. And you're going to turn a hard left to come back up pit lane. When you're going in and out of this area, please make sure that you're aware of people on both sides and keep left. So there will be people coming out as you're going in. So just be careful there. Back into transition, you'll rack your bike where it was before. Once it's racked, you can unclip your helmet and take it off. And then you're gonna come up to run out, which will be at the top of transition. So it will actually be this gate and you're gonna turn and head, those barriers won't be there, up over the mound to complete your second lap. At the end of your second lap, slightly different for those who have done it normally, you're gonna enter the circuit, 
And rather than running down pit lane, you are actually going to run down the outside, so the left-hand side of the track, and you will finish just the other side of that green marshal's hut on the grass. When you've finished, you can take your chip off, pop it in the bin provided, clean your hands, um, collect your chip, collect your beer, collect your water. You'll then come back in. There'll be a walkway through for you to come back in, collect your bike, and then you will end exit back through the gates and out into the car park. So you'll come out through this gate and then you'll bear left and go back to the car park. So important things to remember, guys, make sure you've got your face covering with you. Make sure you park in that west way area. Okay, uh, there are no exceptions to this, please. Um, and please do remember, no spectators whatsoever are permitted. So no spectators. We're looking forward to seeing you Sunday, guys.